What a critique. You know our pictures? Well, my pictures are you. They loved them. You know that new direction I was getting into? Well, they loved that, too. Oh, Janie, positive feedback. You should have been up, there. Shut up, Joey. Another bad interview, huh? Huh? What's with you, Janie? You've been acting like this for days. Another bad interview? You went over this last night. You can't act like this after every interview. Please, Joey. No, I can't handle this anymore. We have to talk about it. Not now. Yes, now. It's not the frustrated actress anymore. Something else is wrong. It's me. Enough! Don't you think I'm entitled to an explanation? You know, I have to live with your moods, too. Do I have to account for my moods now? Yes. Oh, so now I have to give you a reason for everything I do? Oh, excuse me. I lose sight of the great liberation every once in a while. Things do seem to bypass you, don't they? Yeah. Joey! There's nothing wrong. Just give me some time. And what do I do in the meantime? Try fucking yourself. Say what? Joey, I'm going to ask you once more. Just please leave me alone tonight. Sure, sure. That's the way you always solve your problems. For once in your life, Janie, open up. Don't be so damn Quit selfish. Quit pumping! But that's what you'd be. You're being selfish and immature. Immature? I'm acting immature? You come in here raving about some asinine NYU critique where you and your buddies just sit around and talk about third grade aesthetics and you have the nerve to call me immature. Now don't start, please, don't start. You're upset. Brilliant! Of course I'm upset. I asked you to leave me alone tonight, but you're just gonna keep at it and at it and at it. Good, Janie, good. Get it all off your chest. And now if we can only talk about your problems and not my problems, we may be able to settle something tonight? We cannot settle my problems. I think we can. It's this whole acting business that's the problem, right? You can't seem to handle the pressure. Oh, now I can't handle the pressure? You just called me immature. I must be in rough shape. <laughs> that's what we're trying to talk about. Well, then let's talk about it, Joey. Let's talk about pressure. You take pictures of apples and oranges all day and go outside with a camera strapped around your neck like some middle-class tourist from Iowa. And then you spend your afternoons down at that school of yours with you and your buddy slobbering all over each other's photographs. Tell me how hard it's going to be, Joey, when you and all your buddies graduate from college and wind up in the New Jersey suburbs with these nice little office jobs. And on weekends, you and your wife load up the family wagon, drive out to some stupid little park, and take pictures of all your silly little kids all dressed up in their color-coordinated navy blue jumper suits. What's the matter, Joey? Nothing else to say? Aren't you going to tell me I have any more problems? Aren't you going to call me immature? Tell me how fucked up I am? What's the matter? I'm waiting. You can't tell me anything. No! What do you do? Look at yourself. You sit around and you dream all day. You see the world through the lens of a camera. You don't see life. You only see pictures. You're nothing but a child. Look at yourself. Grow up. For once in your life, Joey. 
Joey, grow up! Look at these! Clichés! Of some aesthetic dream world that you're living in. That's all they are. They're nothing but clichés. You know what these are, Joey? They're shit! Oh, I guess we have different views. Oh, Joe. I don't mean these things that I say. I'm just so wound up. You just edge me off. I wish I could be more like you. I just want to act. I can't help it, please. Please forgive me, please. No one ever said it would be easy. No more advice. Just call me. So you're back. Sit down. I hope you've given my offer some thought. I have. But there's still a few things that bother me. Of course. Can we talk about them? Sure. Can we talk now? Sure. Well, there's a few things that really bother me. I told you you were going to have to trust me. Well... Hi. Am I bothering you? The reason I ask is, oh, I hope this doesn't like a come up, because I really mean this. You got photographic presents. I've got a great idea. Why don't I buy you lunch and we can talk then? I don't know. Maybe we should stay here. Hey, Star, relax. I haven't eaten all day. You know, you do have photographic presents. You come here often? I do. There's a lot of memories in this place. I remember when I was a kid, I used to come here all the time. Me and my brother come here, we play softball, fly kites, we go to the zoo, buy ice. Now this place is always crowded. They write things on the walls. Look at this place here. The crates. I wish this would be better. All right, then. Let's talk about it over lunch. Okay. Oh, by the way, my name's Joey. Don't you ever say anything? It gave me a chance. You know, there is something about you. Gee, thanks. I'd like to take some photographs of you. How about we walk down there? Sure. Let's go. Wait a sec. You haven't told me your name. Yolanda. Yolanda? Yeah, what's wrong with Yolanda? It's my grandmother's name. Oh, nothing, I guess. She was named after the princess in Italy. Italian? Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I was in Italy this summer. Really? Beautiful country. <gasps> Well, there's a few places in the first scene that they just bother me. And at the end of the second scene, you know that part where I'm supposed to walk into that room and then... It's really hard to describe in words, like, but I think you can see in the summer photographs I took, there's a certain magic. It's especially Capri. What a paradise that is. I was laying on the beach there for days. I'd never want to come back here. The water's so blue. You can stand 10 feet and see uh, your feet in the water. Oh, God, what a place that is.